My name's Steve Cannon. I'm the local organiser of the 15th Effort Congress, which takes place at Excel Conference Centre in London in the first week of June this year. The major emphasis of this Congress is around patient safety. It has become well recognised across the world over the last few years that patient safety is paramount that it's so important that every patient gets the best diagnostic imaging and every patient gets the best environment in which to operate and has a result which is not uh, compromised by complications if at all possible. And that is going to be the whole emphasis of many of the talks at this year's conference. This Congress represents a cooperation between the British Orthopaedic Association and EFORT. The British Orthopaedic Association is a well-established, internationally recognised organisation founded in 1918 and has around 2,500 to 3,000 members. It's always had a very strong international reputation. Since the first EFORT Congress, way back in Paris some 20 years ago, the English have always contributed and felt very ease at contributing uh, to the EFORT Congress. I think particularly because the EFORT language is English. This year we're honoured to have as our guest nation the American Academy of Orthopaedic Surgeons. This is a worldwide recognised organisation with many thousands of members. The EFORT Congress represents an extremely attractive congress to all orthopaedic surgeons, in, in essence because it covers all specialities. You therefore have the ability as an orthopaedic surgeon not only to enhance your knowledge in your own particular small specialty, but also to gain knowledge of the subject as a whole, and therefore this allows general breadth of knowledge and greater interchange of ideas between specialities, which is something that is not available if you simply go to a meeting restricted to your own speciality. The great joy of a meeting of the wide nature of the EFORT Congress is that it represents a little bit of everything for everybody. For the junior doctor, there are instructional courses, instructional lectures, and a comprehensive review course which allows the whole syllabus to be briefly outlined to the areas of knowledge they require to become a consultant orthopaedic surgeon. The more experienced surgeon will probably find the XMEX uh, type concept or where the expert meets the expert in a debate forum uh, very much more advantageous than, say, an instructional lecture. But the XMEX type situation, there are a number of uh, these sessions within the Congress covering various different aspects of speciality within the, the orthopaedic sphere, and these will be very useful to us all.